So welcome everyone to the channel. In this video, I want to go over some tips that I would use if I was going to start racing into the health informatics field from scratch. So the first tip that I have is to use the American Health Information Management Association website, their career map, to figure out what are some job titles that are of interest to me in this field. You can see from this video that you can go to their career map and search for areas of health informatics that you're interested in. I'm specifically interested in the data analytics field. So you can get a sense of some of the job titles that exist. I've heard from many of you, many of you who are listeners of the Health Analytic Insights podcast that this is where you're stuck. You're not sure what are the job titles you should be searching for in the field. And so being able to get that understanding and then plug in those job titles into LinkedIn and Indeed will give you a good sense of what technical and soft skills you'll need. So that'd be my first step, really try and understand the job titles that exist. So the next step, once I'm able to plug in those job titles and use Indeed or LinkedIn to get a general sense, a general trend of the job titles, you'll often see that some of the common themes include experience with large scale clinical or healthcare data sets, experience with data visualization tools such as Tableau, Power BI, Click, et cetera, strong interpersonal skills of being able to work in a dynamic team environment, being able to work with individuals who have both a technical or a clinical background and be able to synthesize information in a way that's understandable for a wide audience is key. And then finally, prior clinical experience. And this can be through a degree, uh, through certifications, or through working in the field. So what I would do from this is to really beef up my technical skills. There are many online courses, um, schooling that you can take to really improve your technical skills, specifically in data visualization. Uh, Microsoft has a, a site called Microsoft Learn where they have free Power BI videos where you can learn the tool and play around with it for free using Power BI Desktop. And I would also work on my full skills, um, structured query language. It's a really important tool that is often used within health informatics. And there are many free YouTube videos that can help you to learn more about SQL. Uh, the third tip that I would do if I was going to start breezing into the field from scratch would be to create my own business intelligence portfolio. As you can see, I have a video here on the channel if you want to learn more. And basically, I'm using these technical skills that I just highlighted, such as SQL and Power BI, I'm using an open source clinical data set that exists online to create my own portfolio project, which showcases these skills. So I could use that as evidence for hiring managers. And then finally, I'm really focused on my network. I think the really key, um, it's really hard to find a job with, without knowing somebody, especially when you're trying to break into this field. Consider um, joining the Healthcare Information Management System Society. They often have local chapters in major cities and countries and really just making connections with others in the field, see if you can job shadow or, you know, go through internships or placements to get some um, preliminary experience can be really helpful. And for those who have clinical experience, maybe as a dentist or physiotherapist, um, really, you know, making connections with people in your IT or clinical decision support department, see if you can job shadow and figuring out a way how to pivot into this field would be a tip that I would have. So I hope this has been helpful for those who are looking to brace into the field. It's not easy for sure, but it's a very rewarding field where you have the opportunity to make an impact on patient healthcare, not directly, but uh, through analyzing data or helping to train other clinical staff. So I also have an ebook that goes into a lot more detail with this topic. Uh, it covers questions such as, you know, common interview questions and answers that you might get when you're interviewing for a job role in health informatics and much more. So if you're interested in that, I will have a description of the, uh, if you're interested in that, I will have a link to that in the description box. And I hope to see you at an, and I hope you have a nice rest of the day.